three points to remember as it relates to evolution. First, none of the major steps of evolution have ever been recapitulated in the lab. So whether we're talking non-life to life, or that first molecule to the first cell, or a bacterial cell to an animal cell, or a single cell to multicellular creature, or jellyfish to something with a backbone, fish to land, you name it, any of those big transitions. Never been recapitulated in the lab. Second thing is that evolution happens too slowly for us to observe by the evolutionist's own admission. So when we're talking about the essence of evolution, what Darwin's really proposing, humans came from some ape-like creature. We never see any changes on that scale. We're talking about speculation about the past. We're not talking about real observations in the present. All we see is small changes. So that's the second big picture point to consider. And third, Darwin gave a test for evolution. He said if it could be demonstrated that any complex organ existed, which could not be built by numerous successive slight modifications, my theory would absolutely break down. Roughly paraphrased. So he's saying, I'm trying to explain all of life. And if you find something, some species, some, some part of a species out there that you can't build step by tiny step, then my theory is a failure. The inner workings of the cell, highly interdependent, complex, you remove one component, system collapses, you can't evolve the cell. The cell makes up all life on the planet. So by Darwin's own pen, evolution should be rejected. <laughs>